last night. And, um, I spoke with my mom earlier. She asked me to ask you to make dua for her family. And then I also wanted to ask, um, so f- like I try to send your videos to my f- friends and family, and a lot of them ask, like, well, how do you know this <coughs> is the rightly guided ones? And I can talk about my spiritual um, personal event that happened with me, but that's what you were doing. And then a lot of um, friends or family will say things like, well, we can learn from everybody and all the shakes online and things like that, even if they'll have like political views that go against Islam, Islam uh-huh. and things like that. So how do I like talk to them about this? Because like for me, it's like, do you are, are you listening to yourself? Like, <laughs> like how, how do I like go about this? Maybe you don't. <laughs> it's okay, leave them a little bit. <laughs> to their own um, satisfaction. Don't fight with them. If they're really convinced, then don't. Um, how they say in English, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it to drink, right? Yeah. If uh, they're not thirsty, they don't see it, then they don't see it. Don't, don't force them, right? right? But inshallah one day they will wake up okay um, because for those ones who say no no no, you can take from everyone even if their views political views or whatever is against Islam tell them if I give you a glass of water and I spit into it would you drink so no why not it's only a drop of spit the rest is good no so one drop is only against to the cleanliness of the water. My, tell them my, my saliva is, uh, what do you say? <laughs> Sterile. I mean, it's coming from <laughs> me, right? <laughs> it's not even dirty, but you wouldn't drink it. Mm-hmm. What if it's a drop of, um, what else? Pee? A drop <laughs> of pee. <laughs> <laughs> Would you take it? They say no. Then how are you going to take a body of knowledge from someone that you know pee is raining on them. (laughs) Why would you? That's fine. Tell them you can, it's a free country, whatever rocks your boat, (laughs) but that's not for me. You understand? Okay? Don't be so serious. Joke around with them. Okay? Okay? Astaghfirullah. (laughs) All right. So, but they don't understand, they don't understand. Slowly they will understand. We came in this way, not because someone argued with us or something, but we came because we're looking for something. Uh, we're looking for something. We're looking for guidance. We're looking for answers. And we tried everywhere. And we tried everything. And we want, and we see something in our guide. We say, this is, he's, he's making a lot of sense and he's making me to become a better person, to wake up, to understand things. They say you can take from anyone. Say, then, if you have a migraine and you enter into a hospital, would you go to the uh, uh, cancer department? I use very simple English, cancer department. How you say nice? Oncology. (laughs) Oncology. Would you go to cancer department to get radiation? Or would you go to a foot doctor? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't even mix up your medicines. You wouldn't mix up your doctors. So, you follow one. Well, how do you know he's on the path? Because I'm seeing he's doing things that are on the path. I'm not saying he's the only one. There are many, but he's the only one for me. And um, how do you know he's rightly guided? Because I see he's not doing wrong things. Um, How do you know it's good? Because I tasted it. The claim that, well, how do you know he is this or that is as stupid as someone. I never hear anyone if I say, you know, there's a new restaurant. And they have a menu, and it's really good. I never, how do you know? (laughs) (laughs) 
even if I never tasted it, I say, look, it's pretty good. Everyone says, oh, really? Yeah, what do they have? How much is it? That? Right? Mm -hmm. And if you've eaten there, you will go to a restaurant, you've eaten something from there, you recommend it. Nobody is going to say, I don't believe you. Oh. There's so many other restaurants out there. <laughs> Why I have to go to that one? Nobody does that. It's very stupid. But people are so stupid these days, they do that when it comes to spiritual guides. Okay. At the very least, you say, hmm, okay, let me see the menu. At least you can say that. They never say that. And if they ask you for that, for the menu, they all say, hmm, this is this too spicy. <laughs> this is too much salt. And if you tell them something, they, they're just going to start attacking. Right. right? So, never mind. It's okay. Don't... Uh, Try to fix yourself. Then that time, well, you know what will happen? Then because you have such passion, which is good, mm. good intentions, now they will make it very personal. Any wrong thing you do, any wrong thing you say, they'll say, your, your shaykh teach you that? Mm. Okay, one day you have a bad day, maybe, and you scream at your cat. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, oh, mashallah, your shaykh teach you that? <laughs> you do so much zikr and it's making, you understand? They get very stupid like that. So, and everything. Then, and they know all your buttons right, to push. So they will blame you for everything. And they will blame the tariqah that you're following for everything too. So, no, don't argue. Okay? Um, if they say, how do you know? I said, I, I don't know too many things. I know this one. I've tasted it. And it's delicious. Assalamu alaikum.